Hello friends! This is just going to be a very quick look at these two figures that I just got in the mail. I'm a big fan of the Beasts of the Mesozoic line because I'm a big fan of dinosaurs and dinosaur art. And I reviewed some of the Ceratopsian line, but now we're looking at the 1 18th scale Protoceratops and Velociraptor. So they came out with a larger version of the Velociraptor way back when, and a larger version of the Protoceratops uh, not so way back when. But now we're getting big boys like the Ceratopsians and the um, Tyrannosaurid line that's coming out soon. So these are going to be more in scale with those. And that's why I got them. But yeah, we're just taking a short look at these. I really like the packaging. I don't want to throw it away, even though I probably will, just because I have a lot of boxes. But yeah, look at that card art. It's so nice. I don't know, I might keep the card. It's flat, right? easy to store. Oh, look at this little guy. It is so cute. So I passed on the larger scale Protoceratops, which I'm regretting a little bit, but this one is great. I actually wanted the 1 18th scale Psittacosaurus too, but I got the larger version of that, so I was like, I don't need a large Psittacosaurus and a small one, do I? I like big figures, but man, sometimes figures are just a perfect size, and I think this is perfect. I'm going to be using it for reference, and it's going to be super handy just to have it at my desk and just pick it up whenever I need to and look at it. <laughs> I love it already. <laughs> it really makes me want to get the Psittacosaurus version. You've got a little tilt of the head there, a little bit of open and close in the mouth. These joints feel almost spring-loaded. They're very springy, but I like that. A little joint at the elbow, thigh movement, a little twist at the knee, some up and down there. Got a little bit of movement at the torso and a ball joint at the tail. Another cool thing is that this comes with alternate hind legs, so you can switch those out, stand it up on this base. And I like this base, it's a nice size, it's fairly unobtrusive, but it's still got the Beasts of the Mesozoic text stamped on it. So twist and remove those, so you can replace those legs with ones that are stretched out for a bipedal stance. It's a little awkward on the Protoceratops because its front paws are just flat still, but if you don't pay too much attention to that, it looks pretty cool. He's rearing up to a take notice of his surroundings, but I will likely keep it on all fours, and then you don't even need the base. Now for the Velociraptor. You could also get these varieties, but I went with the Velociraptor so it could fight the Protoceratops. There's that super famous fossil of the um, Velociraptor and Protoceratops fighting, and I'm a nerd enough to want to recreate it. The colors are a little bit more simplistic than what we saw in the larger Velociraptor, but that is just fine. It is a much, much smaller piece. You've got some really good articulation too on this for how small it is. The mouth opens and on the top you can even see some tiny tiny teeth in there. Really great movement on the arms. A little up and down on the torso. Back and forth on the thigh. I don't want to move it too much because I'm scared that I'm going to break it. I don't know how likely that is, but I'm scared. I'm always scared. Twist on the knee. Some back and forward on the knee. And so the feet can't move, but you get extra legs. So you can switch those out, and another ball joint at the tail. So you're supposed to attach one of these clamps to the bottom of the base, and they are very small. So very small. Then to get it to stand, you just slide the foot underneath the clamp, and there you go. I think that is pretty clever. That way you don't have to mess around with a tiny little hole in the foot and a tiny little peg to go in it. You also get an extra clamp, which is handy because I'm 100% sure I'm going to lose one of them. You also have an alternative for a jumping pose. And switching the legs on these things is a lot easier than I thought it would be. I thought I'd be worried every time I did it like I was going to break something, but it's straightforward and everything seems pretty sturdy. So I'm not as worried as I thought I would be. So you slip its belly into here, if I can get my hand-eye coordination to work correctly, which is always a challenge. And you've got a cool little leaping pose. I gotta say, I already really like the Beasts of the Mesozoic stuff, but I think I like these tiny ones even more than the, um, the regular ones. Am I going to need more tiny dinosaurs? I might. I might need more tiny dinosaurs. These are just fantastic. I can just have them on my desk like this and they'll take up like no room and I can pick them up and play with them whenever. I didn't know I needed this in my life. So I also want to take a really quick look at the Medusa Ceratops that came in with my order. But first, look at this. In the middle of a review, doing absolutely nothing that warrants it, my nail just decides to break. You know, I could be sitting, watching TV, eating cereal on the couch, and all of a sudden my nails just all fall off. I try to keep these hands looking good for the reviews, guys. How am I gonna do that if my fingernails keep pulling this nonsense? I was doing literally nothing and it 
I, okay. Uh, anyway, rant over. I'm just upset that I can't have long, beautiful fingernails. I've tried. But yeah, I won't go too in-depth into this because I've already looked at the Ceratopsian series on this channel. But man, the paint job on this is just beautiful. That's why I got it, because I saw that they were using these iridescent paints. Oh, and it looks so cool. And I gotta say, I am also really tempted by this old Bucks Dyracosaurus. I, re <laughs> I really want him. But I have so many dinosaurs already, I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. We will see. So yeah, like I was saying, the cool thing about these little guys is that they are to scale with the bigger guys. And man, those look so good together. She's just watching this Velociraptor attack this Protoceratops. So yeah, that's all I wanted to go over today. Just a kind of quick rambly review. I have way too many of these dinosaurs, and yet I'm going to get some more. I also have a pack of baby Diabloceratops ordered. I don't have any adult Diabloceratops, but I'm just going to pretend that they're a different kind of Ceratopsian. As scientifically accurate as these may be, toys are still all about using your imagination. So, likes and subscribes, very much appreciated. Comments, more than welcome. And I'll see you guys on the next one.